Why, good afternoon, everybody. If you're wondering what the heck that sound is and what's going on behind me here is actually I'm hanging out at an open house today at 6600 um, Colston Court. I just think about the address there. And, and, uh, and I thought I would uh, give you a quick live tour of the house because it's pretty cool. Uh, forgive me for the shoddy camera angles and that kind of stuff because I'm trying to do this on the fly. <laughs> just a last minute decision kind of a thing. So um, anyway, but uh, I'm actually standing right here in the backyard of the house and uh, what you hear is a waterfall um, right behind me. Tell you what, let me give you a better camera angle of that so you can check it out. Look at that. Is that not amazing? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around so you guys can actually see the views of the house because you know what? You know what I look like, so let's see what the house looks like. All right, here we go. So we'll go ahead and get a good tour of the uh, waterfall and that action going on here. And it's actually right just minutes, I mean, talking footsteps away from the Quail Hollow uh, Country Club. And some of you may know that uh, as the Wells Fargo Classic Home, which I've attended a couple of times, which is amazing. And if you just can't get enough of golf, there is your own, very own, putting green equipped with uh, sensors. Or actually, you know, you could put something else in here if you were like more of a... Uh, shaded gardener you can do that kind of stuff too but I personally would want my putting green back here so we'll go ahead and walk around the side yards and everything it's got a great sunroom off the back of this house it's a really it's to me this is a great entertaining space um, because uh, whenever you come off of the living room and the kitchen you've actually got this great patio area it's all fully brick here on the back So I'll tell you what, let's walk around the front of the house. Give you an opportunity to check out the side yards. And it's a kind of a day that uh, you could swim through today, actually. So the air conditioning is mighty cold, I might admit. And I'm very happy to, to admit that because it's a good thing here. So bear with me as we go through the side yard. It's a very quiet neighborhood, actually said hi to the neighbors when I came in this afternoon. And actually, there's a neighbor right there. Actually, their house, just not the neighbor. And I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, ATV in here with my own heels. So the front yard, you've got a bit of an incline here, but the good thing is that you're removed from the street. So you've got yourself some really nice peace and quiet up here as you're not down on street level. You've got a wraparound driveway here that comes up onto your own level. Two car garage. And the occasional idiot that drives down the road. But let's go inside. What I actually like is a leaded glass here. This is actually really pretty. On the inside, it's prettier. So to give you a view of that, fully with the transom, side lights, and in addition to that, in the foyer, it's a two-story foyer, so you have an additional window that matches. And if you notice this house, as I'm going to go ahead and give you the quick tour of it, um, you'll see that all the doors and all the frames are all done in the natural wood. Now, you may be saying, okay, that house is looking a little bit dated, but let me give you the side, the side benefit of that. Take a look at the staircase too. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Back in the 70s and 80s, when uh, trim work was done on these houses, um, they would use what they referred to as stain grade lumber. And that meant that literally, let me go ahead and get you a good view of some, some, wood, some wood here, that the trim that you've got, the doors, the windows, that kind of stuff, is it is at such a high quality that you put a stain over it, which literally is just a clear coat that changes the color of the wood itself. Um, any imperfections of the wood would easily be seen. So today, with all these houses with white trim painted, um, those are just basically scrap pieces of lumber. So, you know, granted this house, um, you know, you could put white paint over the top of it and bring it up to more today's standards, or some people are doing even the black, the pottery barn feel of it. Um, if you do that, you can still do it, but the fact of the matter is you've got some higher grade uh, lumber constructing this house. Here is the family room. And it's, I mean, a spacious room. You've even got vaulted ceilings in here. 
And again, there's that view out to that patio area. And an absolutely gorgeous wood burning fireplace. I'll walk you up to it. And I tell you what, since we're on this side of the house, I'll show you the additional office space that they have, or piano room, or bar area, or whatever you want to make this, your flex room. So you've got this coming in right off of the back of the family room. And then you've got desks and things of that sort in here, but you got a wet bar. So it'd be a great entertaining space. So if you had some entertaining going on, you need a place to you know, keep the bar and all that kind of stuff separate from your kitchen and, and living room area, you have this back here. More closet space and an actual in the bathroom. By the way, hello everyone. Um, you've got a bathroom here, a hall bathroom for guests. So walking back across into the living room again, tell you what, let's go into the kitchen and dining areas. And I'll give you a quick peek again outside when you leave the kitchen. To what your view will be. I love the wooded canopies here. And what the sellers have done with this house, which I think is very thoughtful, is they went ahead and added in additional cabinet, additional cabinetry. So they've reconfigured things just ever so slightly. So you've got a full banquet here, like a full line of cabinets of upper and lower. And you have your dining room space inside your kitchen. I mean, really, honestly, how many of us really have a formal these days? Then you've got your granite countertops over here into your kitchen with a full accoutrement of stainless steel appliances. And you've got the GE profile ranges and appliances in here, by the way. Smooth top here. And then you've got the, uh, the dual oven here. So perfect for Thanksgiving, my friends. And of course the dishwasher with a low profile. And you've got the great view out here into your side yard. So very peaceful. You've got a pantry as well. And I'm talking pantry space. Head to Costco, you can put everything in here. And then for going further back, you've got a laundry room. That's right up the kitchen. You've got some storage here. In addition, you've got more storage back here. And of course, folding table slash sink, because who knows what might be coming in from that garage area. Then there's a mystery room back here, which really kind of fascinates me. It is a very small, thin kind of closet, and I've tried to turn on the light before, so let me see if I can turn it on with the live here. Um, probably can't, let's see. There we go, we got some light. So, coming back here, Got more space to store stuff. So the rest of your Costco run can go in here. I'll go ahead and turn that light back off. Then you've got another hall bathroom, a little powder room. So I am standing here at the back where the from the from the garage actually. Then to show you the garage, by the way, security system right there. garage door and here is the garage with the fully sealed floors and they even went so far as to go ahead and do wood paneling throughout in the garage to finish it off and if that's not enough if you just think oh that's not enough space for me I need more room where can I put in my beer fridge have no fear friends we have lots of space right in here so you've got an additional workshop area here you go so lots of room, even more storage. Love it. And as we go back in, may I make notice of the uh, tile floors that we have set on diagonals, which actually give us some beautiful interest in leading lines into the sunroom. So we have a sunroom with windows throughout. So this is really a four seasons room, or you really, it's just part of the house now. So it extends through. And I absolutely love how they focused everything around 
the view of that waterfall. So I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that's kind of some of the first floor features. Now let's go check out some bedroom stuff. On the other side of the living room, we have the master suite, which is great for those of you who have the occasional guests or you have kids that you need to get the heck away from you and put them upstairs. Master bedroom is absolutely, well, can I use the word? Yes, I can. Ginormous. Take a look at the tray ceilings, and they are a cathedral size. I mean, they're very, very high. And you've got, again, windows focusing into the, the scenic backyard. Personally speaking, if it were me, I would go ahead and change these windows out to French doors so you can walk out and have your morning coffee on the patio. But this bedroom space is, I mean, I can't even tell you how large this thing is. It's, <laughs> it's at least 25 by something. I can tell you that. You've got the his and hers closets in here, or as I like to refer to them as the hers and, and hers and a little bit of his closets. And this would be a personal challenge for me to fill up. And I would take that challenge and succeed. Then we have a separate tub and shower combo here. So we've got the jetted tub. And I believe it is a jacuzzi brand. I'm not 100% sure, but we do have the jetted tub. It's ample size. And once again, hello. Then you have dual sink vanities. You have a closet for linens, water closet space, and a walk-in stand-up shower. Now to go ahead and see, oh, by the way, before I forget, above, you have a skylight bringing you ample light. Love the effect of the dental molding around the edge of the poly, like they put some polyurethane, poly, um, some plastic over the top of this to allow the light in, but to make sure that we don't have any, any water coming in through the skylights. Because in my world, it's not a matter of if skylights leak, it's a matter of when. So they've done some really good stuff to make sure that doesn't become a problem. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. So we're gonna walk through the living room once more. And again, what's slate on the floors, by the way, let me mention that. And going upstairs, We have two spaces in here, or as I like to refer to them as Narnia rooms. Walk-in attic storage. The size of this room is amazing. And by the way, I'm standing on carpet inside of this space right here. If you wanted to, you could make that a theater room and add in some uh, ventilation, because it's, it, I mean, it's got a great line for it. Then you've got one of the smaller bedrooms here and you've got a little extra nook here for reading or desk or what have you. And the closet. Personally, I would go ahead and add another line of a rack on the back of this for more clothing. And it's a very big room. I mean, this is probably a 10 by 14, I would say. Walk down the hallway. The hall bathroom with dual sink vanities, a tub and shower combination there, linen storage as well. And this room, oh my goodness, this is a very big room. This is, I mean, it's got to be, I would say probably 15 by some, 15 by 20 maybe in different spaces because we have two of these eaves that hang out. So we've got some additional space there. So this would be great for a teen room or if you needed a playroom for the kids. And once more, we have walk-in attic storage back off of this room. And this space is amazing. So if you wanted to do your media room up here, that's doable as well. You've got all kinds of opportunities in this house. And you're in South Charlotte, so your location is amazing. So you're right off of Quail Hollow Road and uh, Sharon Roads. So you've got a great location to get involved in anything, everything that is Charlotte. Um, the price of this point, is, the price point of this house is six hundred thousand, and uh, it has been uh, put on the market just a few days ago. So I would definitely love the opportunity to help you if this becomes a place that you would like to call home. Um, maybe if you'd like to come home and uh, enjoy that fountain, that waterfall in the backyard, that appeals to you. I would love to show you the house.
So it really shows better, I think, in person. But give me a call. Let me know what I can do to help. I appreciate the opportunity and look forward to hearing from you soon. This is 6600 Colston Court.